This is Disneyland News Today. I'm Tom Corliss. Here now are the top Disneyland Resort stories for March 24th, 2022. Famous Disneyland cast member Maynard is retiring after 28 years at the resort to pursue creative endeavors. His final day will be April 1st, 2022. Yes, we know maybe it's an April Fool's joke, but it also seems like the right day for him to retire, right? He shared the news on his Facebook fan page and Chris Glass shared it on Twitter. Here's uh, his full announcement, quote, Howdy folks, once upon a time I was a freelance artist, primarily cartooning, sculpting, uh, character designs, and humorous illustration. And in April of 1993, I was hired to create a children's television show for a new TV station in Northern Idaho. However, the owner quickly ran out of money, so I returned to Southern California on Sunday on a Greyhound bus. Being a freelance artist had its up and ups and downs, and at that point, it was time to take a break and do something else. So I started thinking about other types of work that might be enjoyable, and then something came to mind from years before I had attended high school. During breaks and lunches, I would wander around campus greeting students and teachers and attempt to cheer them up with silly stories and other goofy activities. Then in my senior year, I was given the position of school mascot, otherwise referred to as a spirit leader, a role that uniquely described what I like to do. But there I could find a job that would allow me the freedom to act goofy and cheer people up with silly stories. The best place that I could think of was the Jungle Ride in Anaheim. So I applied for a job and for the last 28 plus years, starting date November 14th, 1993, my twin brothers and I have enjoyed the blessings of creating happiness in different locations throughout the park for people from around the world. My twin brothers and I are now looking forward to a new adventure. Our hope is that we'll be able to fulfill a lifelong dream of combining visual arts and humorous storytelling, illustrating children's books, greeting cards, and short videos. We, also, uh, we will also be considering other creative opportunities like voiceover fa for family-friendly productions, commercials, etc. Additionally, the resources and time otherwise spent on commuting to and from work will now be conserved, so theoretically there will be uh, also be more time available for painting abstracts and making other art for the gallery. So as of April 1st, April Fool's Day 2022, my twin brothers and I will be retiring from the park and moving on to other creative activities. However, even though the course of this river is changing directions, please feel free to remain seated in your kayaks because this ride may become interesting. My thanks to the people I've met along the way, the creator of that wondrous place in Anaheim, and the big guy upstairs who blesses us every day. Of course, Maynard has been uh, such a well-known cast member working at Tiki Room and Mansion and all sorts of uh, incredible places, and I know he will be remembered uh, by everyone for many years to come. Disney has posted an official statement supporting LGBTQ plus communities following immense backlash the company received for supporting sponsors of Florida's Don't Say Gay bill. The statement was posted on the Disney Parks official Instagram and Facebook accounts and reads, To all who come to this happy place, welcome. Disney Parks Experiences and Products is committed to creating experiences that support family values for every family and will not stand for discrimination in any form. We oppose any legislation that infringes on basic human rights and stand in solidarity and support of our LGBTQ plus cast crew and Imagineers and fans who make their voices heard today and every day. The statement was originally posted, then deleted and re-uploaded after Disney forgot to include Imagineers in the statement, but nonetheless, uh, the company has finally come out and, and posted this, and I know um, it was, it was uh, well received by cast members. Steve Dieselniers with CNBC has shared a video of Disney employees walking out of the company headquarters in Burbank. March 22nd was the scheduled full day walkout in protest of the company's response to the bill in Florida. Many of the employees are chanting, say gay in the video. The walkout organizers wrote on whereischapek.com, a URL I wish I had acquired. The Walt Disney Company's LGBTQ plus community and their allies are determined to take a stand against the Walt Disney Company's apathy in the face of bigoted uh, don't say gay or trans bill put forth by the Florida State Legislature. The recent statements and lack of action by the Walt Disney Company leadership regarding the bill have utterly failed to match the magnitude of the threat to the safety uh, to LGBTQ plus safety represented by this legislation. As a community, we have been forced into an impossible and unsustainable position. We must now take action to convince the company to protect employees and their families in the face of such open and unapologetic bigotry. After news broke that the Walt Disney Company donates to the bill, the company received immense criticism and backlash from its fans in the community, of course, and you know the whole story by now, but yeah. So it is, it's been a roller coaster ride. I think maybe we're finally getting to the end of it here, but um, it has been a rough couple weeks at the Walt Disney Company. A new report from the New York Times reveals that when Disney Parks Experiences and Products leaders approached executives in the company about responding to the controversial bill, uh, they were rebuffed. 
The action began as over 150 companies had signed on to a human rights campaign letter denouncing the bill, which limits what educators can say regarding sexual orientation and gender identity, per the Times. Leaders of the Disney Parks experiences and products, presumably including the chairman, Josh Tomorrow, urged the corporate executives to take action and add their name to the list, but they were rebuffed by corporate leaders. So what this is, is people in the, you know, executives in that particular division in parks and resorts decided they wanted the public to know and cast members to know that they personally were trying to come out against this before anything happened, uh, to separate themselves a bit from the rest of the company. And so they went, someone went to the New York Times and put this out there. So um, this is a thing that's happened. It's happened a lot more within this company under the Chapek administration, as I think a number of different executives in different departments have disagreed with the direction the company is going on many fronts, not just this one. Um, so it is, it's, it's another bad sign for Bob Chapek, man. No one in this company seems to respect him. They all run to a news outlet every time they disagree with him, and it's not just not shaping up well for him. Guests can save up to 25% off Disneyland Resort hotel rooms on most Sundays through Thursdays from April 11th to June 9th. Here's a list of the savings available. At the Grand Californian Hotel and Spa, you can save 25% on premium rooms, save 15% on standard rooms. Meanwhile, at the Disneyland Hotel, you can save 20% on premium rooms and 15% on standard rooms. And at the Paradise Pier Hotel, save 10% on premium and standard rooms. Guests can book these savings from now through June 6th, and travel must be completed by June 10th. We stop by the Stage Door Cafe at Disneyland Park to try the new strawberry lemonade funnel cake. It's topped with strawberry sauce, lemonade frosting, and whipped cream. It costs $8.99. We also tried the new toasted marshmallow churro and dipping sauce at Disneyland from the churro stand near Buzz Lightyear's Astro Blasters. The churro is rolled in yellow marshmallow flavored sugar. It costs $5.75. The reviews of both on our website. The exterior refurbishment of the Crystal Arcade at Disneyland on Main Street is completed and the facade has a new look. New three-dimensional chrome panels are on the marquee above the arcade's entrance, giving it a crystal look, of course, because it is the Crystal Arcade. It looks nice. It's a nice little update. Although Muppet Vision 3D is a Walt Disney World attraction and no longer operating at Disney California Adventure, the new Wishables Plush series for the attraction has arrived at the Disneyland Resort. Kermit is the open edition plush that's out of the bag. You can find him. Uh, the mystery packs hold one of four characters, including Miss Piggy, Gonzo, Sam Eagle, or Fozzie Bear. There is a chaser as well of Sam Eagle wearing his patriotic top hat outfit. We found the wishables at Big Top Toys on uh, Buena Vista Street in DCA for $14.99 each. Through sometime this summer, Pirates of the Caribbean at Disneyland is closed for refurbishment. Construction walls with pirate-themed photo ops now surround the attraction, celebrating 55 years of the classic ride. Of course, it was closed on its birthday, though. Uh, traffic in the New Orleans Square area will be improved at this time as they try to figure out that queue situation. Obviously, on some days, the pirate's queue would go all the way down the waterfront there. They want to figure that out. The photo ops have taped off squares on the ground, indicating where guests should stand. The first one features the scene from the end of the attraction where pirates try to get a key from the dog. Uh, guests can stand in place next to the dog, in place of the dog. The next features pirates singing, Yo Ho, Yo Ho, A Pirate's Life for Me, where guests can pretend to play an instrument with them. And all three photo ops have a logo for, again, the 55th anniversary. The final photo op lets guests act like they're carrying treasure chests next to the pirate climbing onto a rowboat. Now that the 2022 Disney California Adventure Food and Wine Festival is well underway, we can take a look back at everything the event has to offer. It's obviously still going on. We do have a full guide to the festival on our site, which runs through April 26th. We have reviews of every single food item, a look at the merchandise, whatever it is. So if you are going to be visiting the festival, make sure you check out our guide to make sure you spend your money the right way. Disneyland Resort is offering new Friends of the Festival experiences at their hotels during the California Adventure Food and Wine Fest. Education and tasting seminars will be held on March 22nd, March 29th, and April 19th. And guests will learn from industry experts during these seminars held at GCH Craftsman Bar, and, uh, Bar at uh, Grand Californian Hotel and Spa. A winemaker reception will be held on April 6th in the Rose Court Garden of the Disneyland Hotel with tastings of acclaimed wines from Silver Oak and Tuomi. Uh, these experiences are open to the public, no discounts apply, and advanced reservations are recommended. Award Wieners at Disney California Adventure has two new items available for the spring, the Southwest Cheese Steak and the Strawberry Shortcake Funnel Cake Fries. These supporting cast items will only be available for a limited time. The Southwest Cheesecake contains thinly sliced steak with caramelized onions, poblano peppers, pepper jack, guacamole, and chipotle aioli on a toasted baguette served with cuties, 
uh, mandarin oranges or film strip fries. It costs $15.49. The strawberry shortcake funnel cake fries are dusted with cinnamon vanilla sugar, topped with strawberries and whipped topping, drizzled with strawberry sauce and garnished with mint for $8.99. Meanwhile, uh, just down the street at Schmoozies, they have some new shakes and an affogato available for the spring. There's a berry vanilla shake, chocolate peanut butter shake, and a chocolate peanut butter affogato. The berry vanilla shake is berry rainbow sherbet shake with whipped cream topping, fruity cereal, and vanilla cream sandwich cookies. Costs $8.99. The chocolate peanut butter affogato has chocolate peanut butter ice cream with a shot of espresso and costs $6.49. And the chocolate peanut butter shake is served with a peanut butter and chocolate sprinkle rim uh, with whipped topping and peanut butter drizzle for $8.49. Reviews of all these new DCA items at DisneylandNewsToday.com. The class of 2022 can now celebrate graduation with a Mickey ear headband available at the Disneyland Resort. The headband has blue silk fabric on the outside and blue velour fabric on the inside. The ears are covered in black sequins and a tiny graduation hat sits in the center made of blue felt with a black edge. It has a golden tassel hanging from it wrapped in paper to keep it protected in the store. And class of 2022 is embroidered on the side of the headband in golden thread. We first found that at five and dime in DCA for $29.99, but it's in multiple locations. A turning red photo op has been erected in Paradise Gardens Park near Pixar Pier at California Adventure. The photo op features May in her red panda form. Behind her is a collage of icons and characters from the film. The turning red logo is in the lower right corner. Cast members have begun to refill Grizzly River Run. Refurbishment on the ride ends on March 30th. Grizzly River Run at DCA closed for its annual refurbishment on January 24th. And as the attraction nears reopening day, the previously drained track is partially refilled now. Last year, Grizzly River Run did not open with California Adventure. It reopened less than a month later with physical distancing, but... Uh, yeah, this is an annual refurb, but it's coming back soon, just in time for it to get warm. A complimentary reusable straw is now exclusively available to Disneyland Resort Magic Key holders. Straws available near Silly Symphony Swings daily between 2 and 6 p.m. On March 23rd and, and 24th, though, it'll only be available from uh, until 5 p.m., make note. Guests must present their Magic Key Pass to get the straw. The straw case is blue with the white Magic Key on the side. It has a carabiner clip on one end and the end unscrews, and the straw and a straw cleaner is inside. The straw comes in three pieces that screw together. The straw will be available for a limited time or while supplies last. And if it's anything like the last Magic Key gift, it may be gone within a very short window, so you better hurry. It makes sense that it's a reusable straw, because regarding the Magic Key program, I heard a lot of people say this was the last straw, so there's a fun correlation there. <laughs> Never mind. For the absolute latest Disneyland Resort news, head on over to DisneylandNewsToday.com and follow us on all your favorite social media platforms. If you're enjoying the show, be sure to like this video, subscribe to WDW News Today on YouTube for more great content, and click the bell for notifications. Also hit the select all notifications so you never miss an episode of the show. You can also support the entire team behind this show by joining the WDWNT Interglobe Society at Patreon.com slash WDWNT. For DLNT, this is Tom Corliss saying, enjoy the your today. Have a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. WDW News Tonight is our weekly comedy show combining the news of the week, comedy segments, thoughtful discussions, insane characters, parody commercials, games, and more. Watch live on Thursdays at 9 p.m. and become a Wigs member to get access to a bonus post show. Watch WDW News Tonight episodes anytime and live on YouTube or get the audio-only version on iTunes and other podcast services.